We now come to Shadow Minister Stephen King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. Ukraine is on the front line of the fight for the values that we in Britain hold dear – democracy, liberty and self-determination. It has therefore been truly inspiring to see the 200,000 British households willing to open their doors to Ukrainians, largely women and children, who are fleeing Putin's barbaric war. But somehow the Home Secretary has managed to turn this inspiring story of British generosity into a bureaucratic nightmare. We on these benches, of course, welcome the two visa routes opened by the Government, but we have grave concerns that the Home Secretary's poor leadership has meant that the ambitions and generosity of the British people are not being matched by a Government that seems to be more interested in chasing headlines than fulfilling practical tasks and duties. The latest figures show that of the 74,000 visa applications under the Homes for Ukraine scheme, just 11,100 have arrived several weeks after the scheme went live. Mr Speaker, in these matters, I usually try to assume that it's down to cock-up rather than conspiracy, especially when, when it comes to the Home Office under this Home Secretary. But can the Minister expand on claims made by a whistleblower contracted by the Home Office that the Government is deliberately withholding visas for a single child in a wider family to prevent the whole family arriving? In one case, I've been alerted to a family who were told their visas were ready, but when they went to collect them, the one for their three-year-old child was not there, and there are many other deeply troubling cases of this nature. How on earth can this be happening? I sincerely hope it is not deliberate. Mr Speaker, members across this House have been deeply frustrated by the speed at which the Home Office has responded on casework. For too many, the so-called hotline has gone stone cold and the queues for the MP Queries Desk in Portcullis House was over three hours long yesterday. What is the Home Secretary doing to sort this mess out? Why is it that, even though she's taken case workers off the Afghan scheme, which has run to a standstill, will 12,000 Afghans stuck in hotels at huge expense to the British taxpayer, can she still not manage to organise a system that works on Ukraine? Mr Speaker, it's simply not good enough. I hope the Home Secretary and the Minister today can provide some answers. Our constituents deserve them, and so do those Ukrainians whose relatives are sacrificing their lives in the fight for freedom. Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, let me start 